Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I just want to do a quick uh, video on a cool tweak that I have found and like to use with my iDevices. So um, let's get started. Obviously, in order to use this tweak, you are going to need to be jailbroken on iOS 4.0 or above. So uh, any device other than the iPhone second generation will support this along with the iPod Touch first generation. Obviously not supporting this. So um, let's go ahead and open up Cydia. let it load and the, uh, the uh, tweak is called spring to my eyes and basically what it does it allows you to pretty much control every aspect of your device from one simple application now I'm going to show you how to get this for free but I do recommend paying for it I um, have I have paid for it but I will show you how to get it for free I have bought the um, code that goes with it so wait for it to load and we're going to go over to here to manage. And you're going to want to go to sources. Go to edit. Add. And you're going to want to type in www.sin. Oops. www. Uh, I'm typing through the camera. Dot sin. I can't type with this. Sin full iPhone repo dot com. Now you're going to want to hit, go ahead and hit add source, and I'm going to hit cancel because I've already added it. Let it uh, re verify, hit, um, if it comes up with a message that says, well it should come up with a message that says this respiratory is known for piracy, just hit add anyways. And then you're going to be greeted with this, you're going to scroll down to spring to mize. And you will see it right, right here, spring to mize crack, you're going to hit install hit install and then then you're going to want to go ahead and restart your device so once your device is restarted go over to settings and you're going to want to go to general oops i'm sorry go down below general and to the cut to the uh, added section where all your jailbreak tweaks go and you're going to want to go to spring optimize and here you can go ahead and truly change and get creative to what your device want you what you want your device to look at or look like. So you can go to capabilities and if you want to add some things or change some things you can go ahead and select use custom. So for this we will unselect use custom, hit respring, you have to respring your device after every uh, change you've made. But um, it's just a respring so if it becomes a tethered jailbreak you're running you can always just respring and you won't lose your uh, tethered. So as you can see my iPod is now a music player or the music player, FaceTime's right there. So we're gonna go ahead and hit double click the home button to bring up the multitasking that you see. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit settings. Scroll down to spring to mize. Hit capabilities. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now um, multitasking was off for me before so we'll just leave it at that. Now you can go ahead and just add or change anything you want here. So I want the battery percentage on, GPS on, and if you don't want the app store for whatever reason, you can go ahead and turn that off. Turn the front facing camera off, um, home screen wallpaper off, voice control off. I don't like the voice control, so I'll turn that off. So hit respring, confirm your respring. Now we'll just go ahead and enter it. And as you can see, um, the iPod is back. And we have no more multitasking, so we'll double click. And instead of bringing up the multitasking, it brings up FaceTime. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a quick tutorial. Also, um, you can go ahead and change a lot more things but I use the capabilities you can change your icons you can change your status bar what you use for status bar what your folders look like you know animation theming uh, really cool things um, that are I suggest you pay for but if you don't want to whatever you also have the ability to disable or enable things here so um, I have a thing already um, put in to get rid of the spotlight search however if you want you can go ahead and disable it here so that's oops. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. 
Um, I'm going to do another tutorial soon with my favorite tweaks, but this was just a quick uh, quick walkthrough of Spring Tomize, how to get it, and some of the cool features you get when you download and install Spring Tomize. So, I hope this helped, and for Apple Fomatic, this is me saying...